I wish this were an April Fool's joke. Stay tuned. This has been one of the busiest seasons. Like we have deep joy and we have deep sadness. So we need to fit all of this into this truck. Boop. Oi. Okay guys, <laughs> Kayla and Mate here from the future. <laughs> So a lot of you have been asking us where in the world have we been? Because we have been MIA for what, like a month now? Yes, a month. Yes, but there is a reason and that leads us to our big news today. We have big news. Do you want to tell them what the big news is, babe? I can do the drum roll and you can tell them. Okay, fine, fine, fine. We are moving. That was a terrible drum roll. <laughs> it okay. was horrible. We're moving <laughs> to, to Croatia. Croatia. <laughs> So after the wedding, we have decided to move to Croatia, and that is a part of the reason why we have been MIA, because mm. there has been so many steps and so much going on in our lives that we needed to get things in order so that we can actually step into this next season. Yeah. So what we've done for you guys is we put together a blast from the past month of everything that we've been doing, all the steps that we needed to take, and that brings us up pretty much to right now. To right now. You're gonna see, you're gonna love this video. <laughs> Babe, what are we doing right now? You want to tell the people? I would love to tell the people what we are doing on April 1st, 2023. I wish this were an April Fool's joke, but it is not an April Fool's joke. We have come to the understanding that there are many documents that we need in order to get married in Croatia. And we just found this out. Uh, two and a half months before our wedding. Yeah. So, literally, we have been here researching all the things that we need to do, all of the legal documents. I mean, there are names in town clerks and city halls and all these things that my brain wants to explode. But literally, we need to get all of these like verified, sealed documents and we're making a list right now. I'm also right now trying to get my criminal record <laughs> to make sure that I can live in Croatia. Are, are you my little criminal? No, I do not have a criminal record, <laughs> praise God. So literally, I even have to apparently get like a fingerprint card. We don't know. All we know is that this is stressful. It's insane. But we need all these things in order to get married and in order for this next beautiful stage that we have after marriage. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. And pray for me. Pray. <laughs> So guys, we began our journey in Queens, New York. You might ask, why in the world are we in Queens, New York? Well, this happened to be one of the only locations where I could send a digital fingerprint to the FBI. So we, we drove to Queens and we had no idea that the fingerprinting services closed down pretty much 30 minutes before we arrived. We finally got there, we were stressed out, we couldn't find parking. And finally, when we made it to a parking spot, we ran into the USPS, but then boom, we saw a gi giant, ginormous line. And by the time we got to the desk, it was actually past the time where they were running the fingerprinting services. But we looked at the lady and we were like, God, please help us. And she actually took us. We were the last people that she took and we were finally able to get my fingerprints. We just had a crazy adventure. <sighs> We got the fingerprints, praise God. We did. <laughs> and then <laughs> we were able to pee at a Starbucks, get some delish drinks. We needed it, we needed a refresher. And then we had the best stinking pizza <laughs> by accident, right? It was the best pizza I've tried and uh, since I'm in States. And then you have to tell the peeps what you just told me that was so stinking good. Let's come over here and stand because uh, I'm having a hard time walking. The little dough balls? No, no, about the prophetic, like how this is a prophetic picture. So yeah. I really felt in my heart that the Lord was speaking to us that well we just this crazy adventure that yeah. we just had was actually a prophetic declaration mm -hmm. that the Lord had over us that this is how our lives are gonna look so like good. it's gonna be a crazy adventure right. but his he will always come through and we will always thrive in it with exactly. this and with with pizza that we just had He'll so, always yeah. give us favor yeah because like it literally almost didn't work for us 
Yeah. We arrived with what, 10 minutes to spare? Yeah. We were late. <laughs> late. Um, we found the only parking spot, literally like the street away. Yeah. And yeah, they almost didn't take us, but they did. Thank God for Thank his favor. Lord. So this is one of the next steps in our process of getting documentation. We just walked into this government building where there's no security. We're like, are we supposed to be here? There's no one here. What are we doing? There's no one here. Oh. <laughs> the adventure continues. We officially have my birth certificate with the Apostle seal, mm -hmm. but it did not come without a journey because so we paid a price for it. Yes, this morning we woke up and we were ready to go to the Commonwealth and then we realized that we didn't print out the form yet and we're yep. like, crap. So we had to send the form to Staples to print the form. We print the form at Staples, fill it out, and then it says, boom, right there on the form that they do not take cash, that we need to bring oh, a yeah. check or a money order. For $6. $6. So then I'm like, oh my gosh, I've never done a mon money order before i don't have checks with me and uh, google told me that you can go to any grocery store praise god there's a grocery store yeah. right next to the staples we go there literally get the money order <coughs> and then we finally go to the commonwealth's office to bring this bad boy to get yeah. a seal and before we do we found out some very interesting news someone here in this car this guy forgot jacket with his wallet driver's license <laughs> all the everything literally everything <laughs> back in Massachusetts in her parents house we were already on the way so far to Pennsylvania but you know it happens it <laughs> happens but we've got this at least we figured out now right we said like literally praise the Lord because we could have realized that he forgot his stuff like yeah, while we were further. in yeah, Pennsylvania yeah. so show them where we're at guys show them babe we're at the driveway right now. We are back in Massachusetts. Back in Massachusetts. <laughs> yeah. We're here. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. Fun, fun, fun. It's a... an adventure. It's an adventure. <laughs> Bye. Bye. This is how it looks like to, to pack your life. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> This is this is just one small part, so yeah, let's just attack all of it. I'm like in the mood where it's like there's a mess from traveling and yeah. then there's also packing and I'm like I need to clean the mess first. Yeah. Cause like look at that suitcase. Like show them. It's just chaos. I'm like, let me clean things up first and then attack it. <laughs> we got this, babe. We got it. Aside from securing all of these government documents, we also had to pack up our entire life in Pennsylvania. So as you see here, my dear Mate is helping me pack up my chaotic room with all of the things that I accumulated over the last year, which is absolutely insane. Oi, oi. Right? So guys, this has been one of the busiest seasons that I know I've ever had. I don't know about you, babes. Ever. Ever in my life. And I've been through some busy seasons. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell our people a quick glimpse about... Actually, let's go back. Where were we like this past month and why we've been MIA? And then we'll tell them where we're going. <laughs> so we were... Finishing our school. There's so many homeworks. Well, before, yeah, before that. Even before. Yeah, UK. Yeah, I was going there. Okay, okay, I was, okay, I was okay, going, going there. Baby, baby, okay. you ruining okay. my story. I'm so sorry, baby. baby. I'm sorry for interrupting you. <laughs> uh, finishing the school and everything. Kayla was 12 days in UK on a mission trip, on a practicum mm -hmm. trip. I was in Knoxville. Um, <clears throat> what what then else? Virginia. Oh, Virginia. Uh, was VOP. We were at a mm -hmm. conference uh, in Virginia. We were 
I, I don't even know. Like, my mind cannot even remember right now. It yeah. was absolute chaos. Yeah. Basically, and April, we were traveling and we were apart. And then once I got back, it's just been go, go, go. Like, no time to do anything, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's been yeah. insane. It's been insane, and now mm. we're at the last week of our school. We have the commissioning service and the graduation mm -hmm. tomorrow. And the day after tomorrow, we need to pack my whole life, yeah. Kayla's whole life, and we're going to Massachusetts to kill mm -hmm. his parents. We're going to stay there for two weeks, <clears throat> and then you, I'll, I, you have the honors. Yes, and then, as we said, we are moving to Croatia. Uh -huh. So... We're getting married June 17th. So we're basically leaving Massachusetts like the end of May. And we have a few weeks in Croatia to do like last minute wedding planning yeah. things. We get to set up our apartment, which my babe already has an apartment there. Thank so we're going to be just, you know, adding our personal touches as a couple. <laughs> um, getting that ready for after the wedding day. And yeah. then we get married. And then we go on our honeymoon to Thailand, and then we're kind of settling into our lives in Croatia. Yeah. So we think we're gonna be there for a year, right? We think we're gonna be there for a year. That's what we know for mm -hmm. now uh, from the Lord. We wanna invest in our first year of marriage <clears throat> and set up good foundations. Mm -hmm. We wanna continue to do this. Yeah. Um, I think, and then we'll see what doors is God going to open? Yeah. But just to close out this little uh, monologue that we're having, it's crazy because I know we both feel this way. This past season of our lives, for me, the past two years in Pennsylvania and for Mate the past year, the Lord has done so much. He's yeah. completely transformed us. He's renewed our minds. He's yeah. healed our hearts. He's brought us together, given us vision for the future. Like He has done so much from our simple yes of literally laying down our lives, quitting everything, leaving countries, yes. like to come to this school. And the Lord has been so faithful. And like, we're so grateful for this moment where we are literally transitioning from one season to the next. It's not just like we're getting married, but it's all the other shifts yeah. of like the move that's, it's really like hitting us. Um, again, what the Lord has done, but what he's calling us into. And it is so bittersweet. It is. It like, is. we are so sad to be leaving our family here at the school in Pennsylvania. We're sad to be leaving my family in Massachusetts. But we're also so excited to be married and we're excited for the future. And it's just, yeah, it's deeply, like, we have deep joy and we have deep sadness at the exact same time. And it's a very weird combo to be it in, is. right? It is. It is. I, I yeah. have nothing to add. You crushed it. Yeah, that's all I wanted to say. And yeah, we're, as you can see, like... That, this is how much we're in, in chaos and packing. Do you forgot to take off your robe for the... I program? did it on purpose. You did it on purpose. Let's be real. <laughs> this is what our life is right now. And that's one last thing I'm going to say before we say ta-ta for now. Is that these next couple of videos that you're going to see from us. Yeah. They're going to be real. They're going to be exactly what we're going through. Like We're still going to give you these nuggets where we're letting you in. And we're letting you know what the Lord is doing. But also maybe more like vlog type content yeah as there, well there's gonna be some pretty cool yeah. videos uh i'm just gonna give you a little sneak peek we have two wedding dresses mm -hmm. that we need to move from here yeah. to croatia yeah. plus pack her whole life. whole life that's a sneak peek yeah it's gonna be interesting stay tuned, stay tuned. we <laughs> have to stay tuned too yeah. we'll see how that goes <laughs> So we need to fit all of this, yes, all of this, into this truck, which is already half full, and we have no idea how are we going to do it. Lord help us. Okay, so we're slowly progressing, but... This is ridiculous, Lord help us. I'm gonna show you the truck now. So the good thing is, we fitted this bad boy right here. This is the huge mirror. We still have a lot of stuff that we can fit here. That's good. 
that's good but you're probably wondering what's happening in the back so this is the situation in the back right now this is the magician Maria Kayla's mom and this is where we are right now Lord help us Lord help us this is our hood and we say goodbye today so this is our mattress that didn't fit and this guy is just driving off no ropes no anything yeah he's just holding it with his hand there he goes Babe, what do you say, babe? What else do we I say we're happy. We're happy. It's a win-win. <laughs> Guys, this is bad. We just realized, I just realized we have all of this too. And a couple of the six. There's more, babe. Oh no. Lord. Have mercy. Okay, guys. This just happened. This just happened. I need to show you the the uh, pickup truck and the jeep this is the situation right now uh, strapped it with some ratchets probably did a horrible job but it's gonna it's gonna stay in its place to be honest I don't know if I can even open the doors okay you need to see this fully packed we left a little hole for the back mirror there but yeah this is gonna be a good drive thank you Jesus it was a miracle I have no idea how we I have no idea how we fitted everything in that it's insane it is insane so yeah finishing up we are dead tired see you guys wow 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 we are what state are we in right now Connecticut we we're so far from Pennsylvania. We are at the last end of our road trip back to Massachusetts. We're stuck in traffic and we are so stinking tired, right babes? I'm dead. I like, cannot think straight. I have no idea how I'm driving. I'm it's just intense. I'm dead. I'm dead. And we're exhausted. So now we're literally driving home right after packing, having lunch, and this has been a long just seven a, hour road yes. trip. Nice seven hour road nice seven trip hour. traffic. It's probably gonna be more than seven hours. And we're praying for a rest stop. We need a rest stop, Lord. Oh my goodness. Ways took us away that we don't normally go. Coffee and Red Bull, like I need a sour and water, candy. sour candy. Sour candy. We need, we need it all. And too. and fries. I would love fries. Okay, we're good fries. Yeah, here. Lord, hear my prayer. But yeah, okay, we're out of the traffic jam. That's good. <gasps> oh, I see food coming up soon. All right, over and out. Okay guys, you've now seen everything that's been going on in our lives for the past month. Mm -hmm. You're all caught up now. <laughs> and now we are in Massachusetts as you saw in the video and we are embarking on basically phase two of all of this. We are now here packing up my entire life. I don't know how, me as an overpacker is going to pack my life to live in another country for a year. And we also have to figure out how in the world we're going to get two wedding dresses from here to Croatia. It's gonna be a good video. Yes, so next, stay tuned. <laughs> I don't know even when. We hope next week. We hope, we hope. <laughs> All See right. ya. Bye guys. Bye.